Shut up and sit down. All right, everyone. Here we are for a uh, first episode of Woody and Lee's podcast. You can tell it's the first. Yeah, I know. We're a little bit jittery, so here goes anyway. So yeah, this is just a podcast set up really just to have a chat with guest stars. Stars? I don't know. Stars. Just a guest, just really. Just a guest, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and talk about art, just shoot the breeze a little bit, you know, have a bit of banter between me and Lee, the odd couple. Um, very odd. Very odd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, just let us know what you think of it, really. Lee, anything to add to that? No. <laughs> <laughs> these are these you and this thanks, thanks for your help <laughs> cheers mate thanks yeah. so you know I'm Woody uh, what do you want me to say well just in, uh, let, let, let's get the introduction introduce me right. well okay sorry well, thank oh, you right sorry about that right this is Lee <laughs> Cole some of you might Good know morning. him as the splice guru um, you know he is our our splicer in house um, like country's only CE certified splicer not the only but oh, right. okay right any other accolades I've forgotten there uh, <laughs> anyway, swiftly <laughs> moving on. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, so I'm Woody. Everyone, you know me from you know Instagram fame. You know, face of Honey Brothers, all that. Uh, yeah, you know. So uh, without further ado, should we? Uh, should we we'll introduce on? Sean? Should we? we introduce Sean? Yeah, yeah. So this is this is this is Sean Thompson. So Sean is our. I don't know what would you call him? Apprentice splicer. Yeah, no, not apprentice anymore. How oh, is he not? Okay. He's, he has moved on. How oh, is he? Oh, I've stepped up a bit. He's stepped yeah. up, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 From apprentice to splice bitch now. It's the oh, it's it's teacher. Right. Yeah. Teacher. So, oh, is he really? No, no, I'm the oh, teacher. Oh, you're the right, right. right. <laughs> okay. So I taught you. I've taught him. him. Right, right, right. Okay, good. Not everything. I'm just keeping him at a level. Yeah. I'm not life lessons or you know just splicing. Just splicing. Okay. Just splicing. Good. All right. Well, you know. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing all right. He's good. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good, good. So anyway, so Sean is, um, yeah. So Sean's our, uh, you know, sorry, sorry, splicer, second splicer. Yeah, yeah. Um, works here full time, Honey Brothers, but is also uh, an experienced arborist, a tattooed arborist. You might know him from Instagram. Um, brand whore extraordinaire um, <laughs> and you know amongst other things as well master of gucci, <laughs> master of gucci kit master of gucci yeah. kit loves a bit of gucci kit if it's boy. gucci i got it exactly exactly so you know we're just going to bounce a few questions off sean um, we've got a few little things to go through um, and yeah see how you like it let us know what you think so so sean um you know talking a bit about arboriculture first thing we've got to ask would be you know products i mean it's a big thing in the industry at the moment you know the industry's changed so much it's all about the kit these days favorite products what do you think yeah i think i think there's quite a mixed variety of products coming out to to, to answer a question straight up and say the favorite product mm. for me personally it'd be with regards to ppe so my helmets um my helmets are a priority mm -hmm. uh, they protect a lot of vital things um Again, why I say a, 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 a helmet is because a helmet can be used on the ground, a mm -hmm. helmet can be used in the air. Um, it's all over the whole industry. Yeah, um, yeah. If I sat down and said my harness was my favourite piece, I'd be lying because I do work on the ground too, which yeah, I yeah, the harness. Sure. So, um, again, I have my specific types of helmets I look for and what I look for in a helmet. Um, different helmets offer different things. For me, it's about comfort and. Um, <coughs> Yeah, so again, not putting any names out there, but go yeah. on, name it. Go yeah, on, no, tell us your favourite. Yeah. We yeah. want to know, mate. We want to know. Go well, on. favourite helmets is the uh, Fado Protoss. Um, by far, the most, the most most comfortable. Um, How many do you own, Sean? Uh, Sean? Sean? How many? Sean? 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 Yeah, well, Sean. I own How five. Many? I own five. Mm. Like, uh, five Protoss helmets. Five Protoss you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> five Protoss helmets. More stock than us. Literally has. Literally has. No, so yeah, so but but I think each helmet is. Uh, I, I might. This is the thing. This is why I class it as a favorite product because um, um, the 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 Protoss helmets are so adaptable. So mm. yes, I've got five. But not one of them look like the same. Mm. Um, I've got my um, metallic one. Yeah. I've got my uh, uh, Japanese wave one. I've also got my fire one. They're all different variations, but each one I've got has got a different variation. So on one of them, I've got the sunglasses. So if I know it's a sunny day, maybe up a tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use that one. It saves me messing about. They're all adapted for my head. Yeah, yeah, so cool. they're all sized up. So I know everyone, like, I get laughed at a lot in a sense. Well, not laughed at, but laughed with. 
um, that I've got five. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. <laughs> yeah. that I've got five, but that goes back to talking like your question, then what's your favorite old piece of kit? For me, I think every bit of kit is my favorite. It all has a purpose. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. enjoyable. Um, you know, like, like I love to take a new piece of kit and, and work with it and understand it. You know, like one of the biggest things we see a lot in the art industry, what I do, mm. especially with some of the people I work with, they get this cool piece of kit, they climb up a tree and they can go, oh, it's nice. Mm. You haven't really worked with it. Yeah, you yeah, see? yeah. So it's just one of these things where you've got to work with it, you've got to try and adapt it. So that's what I've done with my helmet. So, yeah. Cool. Enjoy, enjoy yeah. a process helmet. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Right? <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy a helmet? Yeah. Oh, well, these well, now. Well, it well. keeps your head safe, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Right. Well, let's not talk about that. Please. Well, I'm moving on to the next question. Other than me, yeah. Who's inspired you in the arm industry the most? <laughs> well, yeah, you say arm. You, you, you have actually. Um, and that's not <laughs> that's not the thing I'm up. No, he went there, didn't he? he did. Oh, no, that's not the thing I'm up. You know, the thing is, <coughs> for me, I will be completely honest. Um, I'm sure a lot of people who know me and who don't know me know that um, my stepfather uh, is my main inspiration for the agricultural and forestry industry. Um, I grew up from the age of eight years old climbing trees. Mm. Uh, my father obviously did well in the of industry, uh, not climbing, he was part of the industry as such. But um, then my stepbrother took over from that, unfortunately when he passed away, his stepbrother took over from that and also made a success of it. I didn't take that route. Mm. Um, I took the route of going into the hospitality industry and trying to be a bit more of a rebel. Um, but each time I tried to get out of it, I was sucked back into the, the of industry and the, the forestry industry from the background of Remembering the days where I used to get a rope, or I used to, my, my father used to bring a, a, a new product home which no one else had ever seen because mm. it was sent directly to him um, to, to use in the garden. And I used to run around with the first ever designed um, solar powered mower. It looked like a bin lid, it had a solar powered top on it, and I used to chase that thing around the garden. And I used to have races with it. You know, when you normally, when you were a kid, you used to put a boat on top of water and let it run in the wind. You used to race mowers. I used to race. I used to race bindlets around the garden. Oh, um, well, you know, yeah, 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 bit yeah, of fun. Yeah. But yeah, so to answer that question, yeah, so my inspiration starts off with my, my stepfather. Uh, loved obviously listening to him. Very mm. very influential man when it came to the the, the forestry mainly industry because that being South African, that was the main thing in South Africa, I don't even know if they know what a harness is. They, they do, they do, but um, the forestry industry in South Africa is a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, um, but again, he gave me direction, my stepbrother, uh, Dylan, he was the world champion uh, um, speed cutter uh, in 2000, you're probably correct, it was 2005, 2006 and 2007, but I stand to be corrected on that. But did very well in all the uh, competition stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Osvaldo Saw. Saw, yeah, all made for him. Um, and there was the he's part of the South African speed saw cutting team. Uh, nice. So he's done well in the, in the industry. Again, more forestry. Yeah. He does climb, but he's not a climber. No. Uh, but he, he does love it. Uh, but I've taken the climbing out of that. So yeah, he's a, my, my stepfather's inspired me to get interested in the products. Mm. Um, I was like nine years old with the lead mechanic in the the, the Husqvarna. Um, company in South Africa, dirty, didn't know what a chainsaw was, but I used to take it apart and put it back together. Yeah, um, sure. And he gave me the, he was, because of his position in the, in the, in the company, he, he allowed me to do that. So mm -hmm. that's where my inspiration came, my interest came into it. Um, and to the extent even that I've actually got the, 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 the company's uh, tattooed brand on me because he, it's, it, it's, it's sort it's of a, part of your part to respect to him. To respect yeah, to him. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. he was classed as a, 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 as Mr. Mm. Um, Husqvarna. So so yeah. So it's um he brought it. He instilled it. I've had a passion for it. So yeah, he inspired me, and he makes even though he's not around anymore, mm. I still reflect back to what he's always said to me: never give up. I um, always understand that. There's people out there that know a lot more about products than you will, and because and that's just the way it is. You know, everyone has their perks of it and interests. In yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, inspiration him. And yeah, Lee Good, yeah. taught me most things he knows. So yeah, <coughs> but it's all about spark. It's all, it's all about spark. It's all about spark. And different people have given me different sort of inspiration in, in the industry. 
And I don't think anyone can sit there and say no one does. No, no, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's, we yeah. all bounce off each other. There's, yeah, there's always got to be an inspiration from somewhere, isn't there? Exactly. Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Mine just comes from a, a different background because mm. obviously my, my stepfather wasn't a climber. No. He always started off as a forester. But still in the in that sort of yeah. industry, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, I the mean, machinery industry, so it, it kind of leads onto it, doesn't it? That's you know? it. Yeah. You know, yeah, like I turned down a very, very cool opportunity which I turned down which I wish I didn't was the uh, I had the opportunity to go work which he gave me mm. I turned it down but uh, he gave me an opportunity to go over to Sweden and uh, um, be part of the development team for the new automotors oh, yeah. Yeah. which was great it was fun mm. um, I didn't take the opportunity I chose to come to the UK mm. um, and pursue a life in the British Army which was great um, but yeah you learn from that mm. and, and, and I'm not surprised I've been sucked back into this because this mm. is just, you know, it's, it's, it's what it's made up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, it's, it's a passion. passion. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, you know, everyone, really like, I have a few friends and, and I say to them straight, I say, what's, what's, your, what's your interest in climbing trees? And a lot of them go, it's a job. Mm. For me, it's not. And that's why I get, you know, yeah, I've got all the Gucci kit and I've got all this and I've got all that. It's not what, I, what I've got, it's what I can do with it. But that's kind of part of why you've got the Gucci kit, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's life, you know, and I, yeah. think, <clears throat> I think, like you say, there's two different, for me anyway, you know, you got your, you know, like you say, you've got your arborist who it's just a job, but then you've got your <coughs> arborist who it's, it's life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, climbing trees, arboriculture is, is, yeah. is passion, yeah. isn't it? You know, yeah. it, you know and, 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 yeah. and, and, and that goes, I mean, there's, there's one guy that I work, I work with a bit and stuff like that, absolutely awesome climber, mm. climbs the basics. Like if I say to them, well, try this out, mm. and then put, nah, don't want to, no, nah, just, don't, yeah, don't need yeah. it, that's just a piece of shiny kit. Yeah, it's like, yeah. just give it a go, no, because yeah. they have their ways. Dinosaurs. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, and it's about, it's about, it's referring to you, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is, it's about development, and I think that's, yeah. that's where my stepfather helped me out a lot with development within myself mm. and getting into the industry. Because we all want to go to college and be arborists, and we all want to go to college and be foresters and stuff mm. like that, but it's a... Having people behind you to actually give you the passion to do it mm. and move forward. You can't be learning from other people. Yeah, you can't, you know, you, you, you can't. You, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he, he was my inspiration. Fact, excuse me a second. I wasn't being rude, would he? No, 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 I just thought you were leading on to a, you know, no, not <laughs> splicing, no. splicing mental. No, 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 so that leads us quite nicely onto the next question, actually. So, what's your least favourite thing about? Sorry, least favourite thing in a borough culture? It's quite a general question, I suppose. Not necessarily a piece of kit, but least favourite thing about working in a borough culture. I think for me again, it's not people, having Gucci kit. No, I think it's people's attitude. People's attitude you work with. I think mm. for me, if you get to a job and everyone's had a, a rough day before, or people who are in specific roles within your team mm. don't pull their weight mm. it, it, that, that's probably the worst thing yeah, I yeah, because yeah. it makes your day even though you know like i'm a climber that's what i do mm. but i love working as a grounder because yeah. a good groundy is normally a climber Absolutely. because they can correspond yeah, with each other yeah, yeah, yeah. when you get a late when you get a lazy groundy oh, yeah. oh man and you're in the tree you've got to come down and then yeah. sort of chip up then you're a rake up yeah, oh, that's yeah, my yeah. worst so yeah that's to answer that question plain and simple true, yeah. lazy 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 teamwork really it's, it can't be done without teamwork. Good call, cool, mate. Good call. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, good. So there's a big question now. It's a splicing question. Oh, yeah, test me off. Right. Yeah, testing, <laughs> yeah. Testing, yeah. Testing, yeah. You what's, talk, because if I get it wrong, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's all on you, mate. All on well, you. What's your favourite splice? Because we do quite a few here at Honey Brothers. We do several different splices. Yeah. Different manufacturers. What, what's your favourite? I think one of my favourite is the double brace splice, three four three. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, Great splice. Um, it's always about perfecting that that splice. Um, the other my most favourite splice that I actually have an enjoyment doing is the Kimura and the Canopa. Yeah. Um, technical splice. You can't be laxy daisy. Uh, not like you can with any splice, but this specific splice has taken me a long time to perfect. And now that I've got there, yeah, by far my most favourite because you have to be involved. It's not there is no mm. sort of Yes, there's markings, yes, there's this, yes, there's that, but you, you, you know. That, and, I, and I get to last a candle. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I do have to concentrate on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Kamora and Kanopa, like so my most uh, uh, favourite sports. 
And what's your least favourite? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can say that one. Uh, the XTC Fire. Oh, that's the a shame. Yale fire. Loads of them to do, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've just come up with a wrist problem. After, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm off this afternoon, so yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll let you go. Yeah, my yeah. wrist. Yeah, no, I don't give a fire with my wrist. I, I do it. There's no doubt about it. It's do what you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's. um, And I enjoy doing them because I enjoy x but I mean, you'll get there with it. Fire, fire, fire. Makes, my, makes my hand go on fire. With least help, you'll get there. Yeah, yeah. I'll do them for you for the minute. Yeah, okay, yeah, with your dodgy wrist. <laughs> so well that's that's good 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 to hear so so what we're going to do with this with, with this little segment so we, we thought we'd do a little challenge when we, when we go so i think we, we we do a not challenge a timed not challenge now okay. i mean there's plenty of knots in the industry but for us it's got to be the bowling isn't it really you know, it's the, the it's, guy to it's the bread and butter of the arb industry you know um so you first, or do you want me to go first? You go first. Me go first, yeah. So what do we want to go for? What boys, what rope do we want to go for? We're gonna to have to keep it, we're gonna to have to keep, keep it the same, aren't we? So yeah. let's, let's do a bit of, let's do some cougar. Right. Is, uh, is our glamorous assistant gonna be doing the timing? Well, don't start yet, you cheat. Oh, I can't. Right, sorry, right, hang, so on, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you've got to take all the, 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 the things out. Hang on, right, let's, let, let's, let's lay it up here. Let's lay it up here. <coughs> <Has this worked? coughs> have, we, have we discussed any rules? Or no, we, not at all. No, we're just, just, we're just, just, we're just going out of can't we? We're just, oh. gonna, you're just, it's just off the cuff, mate. So, well, I mean, what rules do you want? What rules, <laughs> what rules are there? You have to do it blindfolded. Oh, that's fine. That's another challenge. Actually, I'll tell you what, that's not a bad idea. I'll come up with the ideas, it's all right. Maybe we should do it blindfolded. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I don't. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's COVID. No, it's, you know what? I think, I think let's just. Like COVID's at least you worry about that. Because it's time. It's not about that. It's because it's time. But I think let's just do a time. Let's just do a time. Yeah, yeah excuse me. It's our interview. We'll yeah. make the wrong yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know you're right. Actually, yeah. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Right. So, and go. Messed that up straight away. What's he doing? Bowling. Doing it upside down, man. <laughs> Done. Oh, she. Oh, don't. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, I'll smash that. There we go. I think you got to take at least half a second off of that. That was. That was. You were well slow on the stop there. Oh. <laughs> it's Aggie, by the way. She's doing the timing. I'm um, glamorous assistant. Yeah, yeah. She's doing of course, she'd give me a little bit of a time. You know, a little bit of a. Uh, oh, here we go. Come on. You know. Right, ready? No pressure, go on. Go. Stop. Ah, oh, what? Oh, I want to redo mine. Thank I want to do it over. I want to do it over. I want to do it over. Go on, Sean. Go on. This is for Splice Towers. Come on. Mm. Come on, Sean. Don't show, don't let me down. Go. Don't let me down, Sean. Come on. Go on, Sean. Go on, Sean. Under four seconds. Go on. Oh, we've messed it. Oh. So when we results do this, are in. Results, results are in. Results are in. So uh, who won, Woody? I need a do over on that one. Who won, I Woody? Need a Woody, mate, who mate. won? I need a do over. Who won? Who won? So who won? Lee Cole, resounding <laughs> winner. Nimble finger. Four point two six seconds. Uh, Sean, coming in at second, six point four seconds. <laughs> Woody in the seven, but to be fair, Aggie's slippery fingers didn't quite didn't quite press the button in time. So you know, it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. But and what, do you, and what, what, what do you win? What, are, we, are we gonna win something? Yeah. What do I get? Chris by five. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> enough of this. Uh, enough of this. Uh, this this game of charades. Um, yeah, I've got think, work to do. Yeah, we have got work to do. That's right. So anyway, you know, let us know what you think, um, and uh, you know, comments below, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.